That tune is called Swallowtail Jig, and Swallowtail Jig is a super popular and super fun uh, Irish jig. You'll hear it played at a lot of jam circles and at a lot of gigs. So it's a good one to know if you're a fiddle player. And today I'm going to try to teach it to you. So let's dive right in. Uh, Swallowtail Jig is a jig, so it's in 6-8 uh, time. Um, it has a bouncy triplet feel. If you don't know what that means, I'll give you an example. Bouncy triplets, uh, I think, uh, sets of three, sets of three notes. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. To do it a little bit slower. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ba, da, da, ba, da, da, ba, da, da, ba, da, da. So that's the uh, rhythm that you're going to be uh, keeping in your head as you play this tune. And another interesting thing about Swallowtail is that uh, uh, the key that you play it in, um, it's two sharps, right? So you would think that it would be, uh, you know, D, D major or B minor. Uh, those are the common keys that you think of when you think of two sharps, but it's actually not in either one of those keys. It's in a key called E Dorian. And what that means is that uh, the scale starts and ends on E, but it has all the same notes as a D major scale. So E Dorian, um, all you need to remember is that on the A and uh, the D strings, you have a high second finger, and uh, on the E string, you have a low second finger. So we're playing a C and F sharp, again, two sharps. So to start the tune, uh, we're gonna be on the D string, and the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna just explain a couple of things in the beginning, and then I'm gonna uh, teach uh, both parts of the song, the A part and the B part, I'm going to teach them in little sections. And there's going to be graphics on the screen that show you what my fingers are doing so that you can follow along. And we're going to do it real, real slow so that you can uh, pick the tune up. So an important thing to uh, start the tune, uh, there's a pickup. So I'll give you an example of that. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> So there's a little eighth note at the beginning that kind of kicks everything off. So uh, the downbeat is your But right before that, we do a little bit of a pickup. So if we count ourselves in, we go one, two, three, four. Right? So just hit that eighth note, and that's a second finger on your D string, F sharp. Um, another thing is that's this first little passage that um, is kind of recurring here, it's your Um, it really helps if you do a block fingering, since you're using your first finger on both your A and your D strings. So block fingering is when you cover up uh, two strings with one finger. Um, so you can, uh, if you put your first finger on the A and the D strings together at the same time, you should be able to play that little uh, double stop fifth right there. And it makes it really easier to hit these uh, string changes. So with those two things in mind, let's go ahead and we'll learn the, uh, uh, let's learn the first half of the A part. So this is the first quarter of the song. One, two, ready, play.
now we're going to play uh, the second half of the A part. pause the video and go back and uh, play those sections of the video back as many times as you want until you're able to, um, you know, get the song in your head and uh, pick it up a little bit. So now we're going to move on to the B part.
slow. So now I'm going to play the song through very slowly. I'm going to play the whole song through, repeating both the A part and the B part. And uh, I hope that you will feel comfortable enough to try to play along with me a little bit. We're going to go very, very slow, and I'm going to count you in. One, two, ready, play. So if you were able to play all that with me, then you learned Swallow Till Jig. And now all you need to do is just speed it up a little bit um, as you're comfortable with, you know, learn things slow first. This is my, this is my philosophy. Uh, learn it slow first and then you can pick up the speed. Once you've learned this song and uh, you know it quite well and you want to make it more interesting, uh, that would be the time that you throw in. You start to throw in some ornaments, some slides, uh, and some different... Uh, techniques to make the tune a little bit more interesting. And I'll give you uh, some examples of a few of those things that you can do and um, you know show you how to do them. So one thing that's cool on the pickup, you can kind of swoop your way in um, using one bow, using one long down bow. So it sounds like this. Do that again. Um, you'll see a lot of people do that when they're playing this tune. Um, it helps dancers a lot too if people are dancing along to the tune. So that's one that you can do. And the way you do that is just by using one long down bow and kind of speeding up your bow as you go along. So when you do the pickup, so there's one long down bow uh, right, into this, right into the tune. And uh, so let's keep going. So right there, you can do a little roll. I guess it's actually not a roll, it's a flick. So a flick is when you play a note and then you just flick the note above it. Uh, so you can practice that a couple of times. Right there on that high D, I like to slide into it. There's a cool thing you can do with your bow to kind of um, give it a little bit of a shuffle. Um, uh, I'll give you an example of that.
So there's an interesting uh, bowing you can do here when you go up to that high D. And if you throw in accents, it makes it sound really cool. So moving on to the second part, uh, or the B part, the most common ornament you'll see here is a little roll at the top. Um, so again, that's, uh, like, is it a roll or is it just a flick? No, it's just a flick again. It's not even a roll. And just to kind of, um, I'm talking about flicks and rolls here, just to explain the difference if you don't know. Um, a flick is when you just flick the note above. That's a flick. And um, a roll is when you flick the note above, you go back to the note, you play the note below, and then back to the note. So it sounds like this. If I play it really slow, it sounds like this. So I think you could probably fit a roll in there if you wanted to. Let me try that. Maybe not. Um, and this is the cool thing about ornamentation is that you can always experiment and figure out, you know, what you like and what you don't like. And you can really make the tune your own by throwing in uh, different uh, types of ornaments. So let's just do a flick at the top there on that, uh, that first finger on the E string. So when you play it at tempo, it sounds like this. Um, oh yeah, another cool thing you can do there Uh, you can throw in a little second finger there when you get to that D. So, uh... Right there, you can really dig in on that second finger. And, uh... You can also just slide up to it. There's some, uh, you know, some general ideas of different ornaments and things that you can do. And uh, now I'm going to play the song through and uh, I'm going to kind of have fun with it and uh, do some different things just to kind of uh, hopefully give you some a uh, little bit of inspiration and maybe, uh, maybe it'll make you a little bit more adventurous in your playing when you see what I like to do when I play. I like to improvise a lot and I kind of get crazy sometimes and it doesn't always work out. But uh, sometimes it sounds really, really cool. So uh, you take the good with the bad, I suppose. But uh, now I'm going to play it through the whole way and uh, try to throw in some crazy stuff. We'll see what happens here. So thanks for watching the video and I hope that uh, my video helped you to learn this song. It's one of my favorite fiddle tunes. So uh, the more people that know it, the more people I get to jam with and that's always a good thing. Um, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe 
and hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button below. And you can always leave a comment if you have uh, some feedback or you know something you'd like to share. And you can always uh, leave a thumbs up too if you like the video. So uh, come back for more videos to learn more tunes and I'll see you next time.